watching Kennedy, Caribbean Queen, Kayla D, Caribbean Queen, Beauty Fashion, everything you need. You're watching Kayla D, Caribbean Queen, Kayla D, Caribbean Queen, Beauty Fashion, everything you need. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you aren't even welcome, my name is Kayla. So for today's video, we're going to be trying on a $600 wig. And yes, girl, you heard me right. Like, Kayla, what? How much? $600 plus tax. So yes, we are going to be trying on a fancy wig for you guys today. We're going to be reviewing it. And I want you guys' honest opinion by the time you guys are finished watching this video. Don't go off of my opinion, okay? Like, let me really know. Like, do you guys think it's really worth it? Like... And when judging this wig, you gotta like put all of these things that I'm about to mention into like consideration. So you gotta put the color in there, the lace, the hair quality, the length of the hair. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the hair texture. And you know, I said quality already. But yeah, you gotta put all of that into consideration. And then like give it your fair judgment. Is it really worth the six hundred dollars? Just based off what you guys just see it on camera. Is it worth it? All right, I'm done messing with y'all, but I know my voice sounds sexy as hell right now. It's because I'm sick, y'all. I'm so sick. I got a cold. This Canadian weather, let me tell y'all about it. Honestly, I don't even need to tell y'all about it, but it got me all the way messed up. That's all y'all need to know. So, um, yeah, we're just about to lay my wig down. And to lay my wig down, I am using the Ebony New York Wanderlei Spray. I absolutely love this. The whole lot of it is really ridiculous. It gives you like a really strong hole. You can get about a good four to five day wear out of this hold without your lace lifting or any of that. So I really like it. Y'all know I had to sped up this video because I wasn't trying to be here all day. And then right now, I'm just taking my hot comb, making sure that the front of my hair is flat. Then I just section off the hair that I want to use for baby hairs. Also, I know this initial install wasn't the best. I've done way better. But um, I think it was cute nonetheless. But I was rushing because I was heading to brunch. So I really did something really quick. But nonetheless, I got so many compliments on the hair. The hair color, you guys, is so beautiful. I definitely think this wig is worth the price tag but we'll get into that a little later on now i'm just taking some mousse i'm using the nairobi um styling mousse and i'm just gonna lay my baby hairs down i did do a lot of baby hairs on this wig because honestly i felt like this one needed it <laughs> the hairline was like not as i would say natural looking as i wanted it to be where i would be able to like wear it without the baby hairs this one i felt like it actually needed the baby hairs so yeah i did go in and add the baby hairs laid them down and then i just went with my melt man and wrapped it up for the hair itself your wig does come already curled for you so i pretty much just like left the curls that was on it but i did take my flat iron and just like pass it over the hair just to like straighten out certain pieces to get like that blowout look and then i just removed my melt pan and it looked so bomb at first, I really wasn't feeling it, but like towards the end of my night after I was lit, everybody was complimenting my hair. I was like, yes, I did the damn job. <laughs> but at first, I really was not liking it. I was not messing with it at all. But yeah, this is what it was looking like. So I am back with the same wig probably this is what four days later since my initial install So that day I did not have enough time to properly like do my hair. I was really in a rush So yeah today I'm back to just you know finesse it for you guys and yeah I'm gonna add some crimps to this hair This is what the hair is looking like four days after the first I had it in like a side part Today I did do like a middle part. I do have to go in and fix it though 
Um, but yeah, this is what the hair is looking like so far. So good. I have not had any issues with the hair at all. No shedding, no tangling. The hair has been holding up really well. The color is really pretty on it. guys so this is pretty much what the hair is looking like now since i went ahead and crimped it the crimp that i use i got this at walmart it was like 30 bucks um it is a smaller crimpler i usually like the ones that has a bigger barrel on it but this did it did turn out really well so far i'm liking the crimps the hair is really nice it does also take the heat really well so far i have not experienced any matting shedding or tangling the hair has been doing really well um yeah it looks super good like i said i got so much compliments on this hair it really was like the color is so pretty um, and is this wig worth the 600 dollars i'm not being biased for me when it comes to like purchasing hair i always have to make sure that i'm getting the best quality especially if i'm going to be spending such a huge amount of money like 600 dollars is not cheap you guys so if i'm going to be spending 600 dollars on a wig I want to make sure that the quality is A1. Like, this is not a wig that within two months, I got to throw it out. No, this is a wig that's going to last you for years. When I say years, I'm talking a good three to five years. These wigs can last you. And so, again, do I think it's worth it? Hell yes. The wig is full. It's pretty. The color is so beautiful. The hair looks really good curly. And honestly, it looks even better straight. All depends on how you want to wear your wig. But again, do I think this is worth it? Yes, it is definitely worth the $600 price tag to me. So yeah, if you can't afford it, then there's always other options for everybody. It's whatever you can afford at the moment. But if you do want like a really good wig that's going to last you a long time, I definitely recommend it. This is pretty much the wig. I did want to come back again, like I said, and show you guys what it would look like in a different style compared to how I styled it the first day. So I'm really loving the wig. Y'all saw me lay down my unit with this the first day. I did not do touch-ups or anything like that, you guys. And my wig is still down. That's why I said y'all need to get hip on this hair because four days my wig have been on. No lifting. Absolutely no lifting. The air tabs are still down. Like this spray a lot 10 times actually 20 times better than the got to be yeah this is my second wig from them within the last two months you guys and i'm really in love with their wigs they have great quality wigs not even great but like their quality is like a one also the lace that they use on their units is their tinted transparent swiss lace so what i like about that is the fact that it pretty much matches all skin tone you don't have to go in and use any powder, any foundation, or nothing like that on your lace itself. It pretty much just like blends right in with your skin tone. It's also their Swiss lace, so it's like a really thin and fine lace. Really good, you guys. Super easy to melt. Their wigs are just amazing all around, so yeah. We'll have the links and everything for you guys listed down below to where you guys can find this exact same wig. If I do have a discount code, that will be listed down below as well um yeah that is pretty much i hate doing outros you guys so yeah that is pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video give me a big thumbs up like comment share all of that and i'll catch you guys in my next one bye